So for Makeup Monday today, again, it's the next week um, since starting this. You know, if you watched last week's Makeup Monday, it's where I'm going to start posting makeup things, makeup related things on Mondays just so I can sort of get through the amount of makeup that I do have to review and hold myself accountable because, you know, I like to start series and then never finish them. That's like sort of what I like to do here on this channel, if you haven't noticed. I start something, I say it's going to be like, I'm like real excited and then what happens? Or like I talk about, I want to do something and then it doesn't happen, but I'm going to do make makeup Monday. I, it's going to get, it's going to get done every single week. Um, and today we're doing a swatch. We're doing a little swatch video. Uh, I do have plans to do more lip swatches, especially of a lot of things that I've been, I've had for a long time that I really need to swatch. But, um, given the time constraints that I've sort of got, um, tomorrow is going to be real busy with work. So I'm not going to be able to film tomorrow morning, like when Oliver's in school, because the only way I'm going to be able to do swatch uh, lip swatches now is when Oliver's in school. So that's going to have to be like better planned out, like with my work schedule. But I have a little time today to do a swatch video of some cream eyeshadows that I've been meaning to swatch for you guys for literally like almost a year. I think I first talked about the Organic Skin Co. Um, in January this year when I did a all cream get ready with me. I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you haven't watched it. I talked about the the uh, cream eyeshadow pods there, which is what we're going to be doing today. So the Organic Skin Co. is a cruelty-free, all vegan, all natural, organic skincare and makeup line. I love their makeup and their skincare. I especially love their cream eyeshadows, which is why I wanted to swatch them first. They do have pressed eyeshadows, but I love the creams. I fell in love with the cream formula the first time I used them. I like the colors. I like the wear. I just, I like everything about them. I like the formula. So if you don't know what the Organic Skin Co. is, other than what I just told you, that it's a vegan, cruelty-free, natural, dye-free skincare and makeup line. So the Organic Skin Co. is a New Zealand-based brand, but they've also recently started showing up in stores like the Detox Market. The Green Jungle Beauty Shop carries them. Um, I believe there are a few other shops that carry them, but those are the two that I know of um, that I work with quite often. I've seen them show up there. So I'll look around and see where else they're featured, sort of like in the U.S. Um, but if you are someone who wants to shop internationally, you can shop through the Green Jungle Beauty Shop, and then you can shop shop through the Organic Skin Co. itself. I believe they have free shipping after $75. I'll leave all the info, all the, you know, the info that you need down below. And what I love about the Organic Skin Co. too is that they do really focus on sustainability. So they have these pod palettes. So you can buy their products, um, at least they're sort of like pot products, like their concealer, their highlighter, their cream blushes, their powder eyeshadows, their cream shadows. You could buy them either in like a bamboo packaging, so it's like a one pod packaging, um, or you can buy them in either the four pods or the eight the eight pod palettes. So you can sort of like customize and make your own palettes. I love that. I've got um, all the cream eyeshadows in one eight pod palette here. And then I have the last two because they have 10 different shades. And then this is a concealer and a highlighter. And then I have all of the, um, the pressed eyeshadows in a pod and then I have some of their cream blushes in a pod. So I love that. Very sustainable, very eco-friendly. So you're not sort of like amassing all of those like pod packagings, which you can't really travel with. They're not really, you know, friendly. Um, and then they come in recyclable packaging, um, the pods do. And then I, I believe, I don't have a packaging of the pod, but I believe they plant a tree for every pod you buy or something like that. If I'm wrong, um, I'll have taken this part out. <laughs> but yeah, when I did that cream get ready with me where it was everything I used on my face was cream, um, I talked about the cream eyeshadows and I'd been meaning to do a swatch video like for a long time since then, but I can't get my shit together. You guys know that. I can't get my, my shit together to save my life, but I'm here today as part of Makeup Monday to swatch them all. I know you guys are like, get to the freaking eyeshadows already, right? So there are 10 shades. And I'm gonna have to look at my phone to remind myself of the shade names because I don't, um, I don't know them off the top of my head. And then, you know, once you put them in the, in the palette, you don't know what the names are anymore. Um, so you can buy them two ways. Like I said, you can buy them in the pots, which cost you $22. And then you can buy them in the pods for 18 or you can build yourself a palette. Um, I believe it's, it even gets cheaper if you like custom build a palette and add whatever four pots you want. So you can add four cream eyeshadows, you can add two cream eyeshadows, a blush and a concealer, you can add whatever you want. You can add a powder eyeshadow, a concealer, a highlighter, a cream shadow, um, but yeah, so I like the pod option. 
Okay, so the eyes have it cream eyeshadow. So they are highly pigmented, long-lasting, multi-hued, and full of super critical extracts. Let me get to the ingredients. So they are castor seed oil, rice bran wax, candelia wax, sunflower seed oil, rosemary, pomegranate, and then calendula extracts. And then they've got titanium dioxides, iron oxides, ultramarine violets, manganese violets, chrome oxide green, and mica, you know, depending on the shade. So yeah, I love these and I just wanted to swatch them all for you. I know that a lot of you guys have been interested in the Organic Skin Co. Um, and a lot of you guys expressed that you were interested in the Organic Skin Co. back when I did that, you know, that thing that, um, back when I did that video in January. So yeah, I'm gonna start with this shade, these two shades here. So this is a gold shade, which is the shade Highlights. And then the shade next to it is sort of like a plummy, plummy shade. These aren't gonna be the cleanest swatches. And this is the shade Daydreamer. I really like this one all over the lid. I mean, that's sort of what I tend to do with these eyeshadows is I just use them sort of like one at a time, try to clean it up a little, and then sort of like as like a smoky eyeshadow. So yes, highlights and Daydreamer. Okay, and then moving over onto this palette, we're gonna do these ones. This is Misty, which is sort of like a matte, or non-shimmery, um, sort of like, I don't know, taupe color. And then cocoa, which is a sort of like rich, rich brown color. So there's misty and cocoa. Misty is kind of like a cool, like grayish. It's like a grayish color. It's pretty interesting. Okay, and so then moving on down the line, we've got silhouette, which is like the silver, and iconic, which is black. So here we have silhouette and iconic. See sort of the rundown of the shades so far. Then we've got two more that I really love. We've got Silk Purse, which is this pink color, and Deep Purple, which is a deep purple. <laughs> I actually have Silk Purse on my eyes right now. You guys know how much I love pinks lately. So here is Silk Purse and Deep Purple. There's a lot of deep colors, that cocoa color, Iconic and then Deep Purple. I really like both of those. Silk Purse is so pretty. Um, yes, obsessed. So the last two here are Greenstone and Cotton Candy. I would expect Cotton Candy to either be like a pink or a blue, right? You don't really ever see like gold Cotton Candy. At least I never have. So that's an interesting Interesting name choice for this specific shade. Okay, so here are these last two, Greenstone and Cotton Candy. This is probably the most sheer shade. Yeah, it is the most. This is Cotton Candy is the most sheer shade of the bunch. All the rest are pretty, you know, deeply pigmented. So here you go, you're gonna see all of them. Try to get my face out of the way. <laughs> my camera wants to focus on my face. I guess try to make sure it's in frame. So we've got Highlights, Daydreamer, Misty, Coco, Silhouette, Iconic, Silk Purse, Deep Purple, Greenstone, and Cotton Candy. So now in terms of wear, um, they do crease. Um, it, with the cream product, that's just sort of inevitable. It's gonna crease no matter sort of like how much you prime underneath it. For me personally, I don't really prime that much unless I know I'm going out somewhere. So like if I'm just at home and I'm just gonna you know, be filming a video or I'm just playing around with makeup, I tend to only usually like run some concealer over my eyelids and then maybe a little bit of powder. That's as much priming as I do on like a day-to-day -day basis and it doesn't keep it from creasing. Um, so I don't wanna say that these are crease proof because they're not. They crease less than a lot of other brands, cream eyeshadows that I've tried because they're, they're, I find that they're less oily. They're not as sort of like slick as something like say, um, you know, like an RMS eye, RMS eye polish is pretty slick. And this tends to, these tend to crease on me very, very quickly. And I actually, I brought this one in here because I wanted to show you that one of the shades of this, of the, you know, this, the shades here is a dupe, pretty close dupe for the eye polish and silhouette, which I bought quite a long time ago and now my camera doesn't want to focus. Um, so yeah, I bought this a while ago. Did I say this is an embrace? And I'm not sure what I said before. But the shade in Silk Purse, I mean, it's not exact, but if you're looking for something that's vegan, 
Um, if you're looking for something that has like a little better staying power than the RMS ones, because the, um, the RMS ones are heavy in coconut oil and these ones are not, they've got like heavier oils that aren't as slick. This, when I put my finger into it, it's very, very slick. Um, I loved this eye polish, but yeah, it does crease on me like immediately. But the, the, um, but the organic skin coat eye polishes are just, they're much thicker. Um, they're not as slick, like I said, so they're gonna crease a lot less and not as fast. Here's my eyes sort of like, I don't know, after like an hour. So yes, there is creasing. Um, and if you put like an actual base down, if you use like an actual eye primer and really properly prime your, prime your eyes, they will last longer than if you just put them on naked eyes or just on like powder. But even, you know, even it just being like an hour, the RMS eye polishes will crease on me immediately, but these, you know, take a little bit longer to crease. The creasing is not as bad. It's not as noticeable because the pigment still stays. It just sort of like creases. So... I don't know, it depends on sort of how you feel about creasing, how that, you know, how that affects your your decision to buy something or if you're, if you're looking into something. But I really like these. Um, I think a lot of you guys have liked them. I know that a lot of you guys have sort of purchased based on my recommendation. And I haven't heard from anybody that you've been like, oh, you steered me wrong. So, I mean, I think you guys are liking them. I hope that you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, I like these. I like the colors. I There are, of course, colors that are my favorite. Silk Purse is definitely a favorite and Deep Purple. And then these two over here, I actually like to mix together. I like to do Daydreamer all over the lid and then do um, a little bit of highlights just sort of like in the center to highlight it a little bit. So, I mean, not all the colors are going to be like everybody's cup of tea. Like Greenstone is definitely very specific to, you know, if you like greens, but if you are a green person and you've been looking for a green cream eyeshadow, they do have one that is, you know, pretty pigmented. Get my face out of there again. So yeah, and you, these definitely can be built up very easily. These are all just like one swipe on my arm. So, I mean, I think they're great. I think they're highly pigmented. I think they're great quality for the price. I think they last a long time. I love these eight pan palettes or the four pan palettes, either one. They're magnetic, they are, you know, wood, they're sturdy. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a long time. I know that some of you guys have probably been waiting for it. Maybe not, maybe you've forgotten that I have the Organic Skin Co stuff by now. But in a couple of weeks, um, I'll probably do the swatches of the powdered eyeshadows. Um, so I get that out of the way. And then I've got a few of their lip and cheek colors. I'm actually wearing um, a lot of Organic Skin Co right now, actually. So on my, my base is the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Sunscreen and Fair. I've really been liking that. I've got the Erin's Faces Concealer on in Magnolia Light, whatever the light shade is. And then I'm wearing one of the pods, which I don't remember the name of. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. And then I'm wearing the highlight shade, which again, I don't remember the name of, but I'll throw it up on the screen. And then I'm wearing the eye polish, not the eye polish, the, uh, the cream eyeshadow. I've got their mascara on, but then I'm wearing the lip, the lip serum from Fit Glow in Juice. I should have grabbed Gospel, but juice is what we're working with today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you've been looking at the Organic Skin Co Cream Eyeshadows, I hope that this was helpful. I don't actually even know if there are any swatch videos or swatches of the Organic Cream Eyeshadows out there. So hopefully this is helpful to somebody if you're, you know, sort of looking for them and this video pops up. Hope that it was helpful. And um, I do have a code for the Organic Skin Co if it's your first purchase. Um, so I'll leave that down below. And then I do have a code to the detox market where you can buy them, so I'll leave that down below. And then like I said, you can get them on Green Jungle Beauty Shop, but my code no longer works there. So, I mean, that's that. There is no code there. So if you wanna shop through it and you want a little bit of a discount, um, shop through the detox market, or if it's your first time shopping at the Organic Skin Co, shop there. Um, otherwise, I will leave links to anywhere else I can find them down below, because I'm not sure who else sells them. Those are just like the two big places that I know of, but. Yeah, like I said, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And um, if you have any recommendations for anything that you'd like to see on a Makeup Monday, leave it down below and I will surely get to it as I'm now doing makeup videos every Monday. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you on Wednesday. It probably won't be um, the next part of my Hyped series. Thank you so much for like all of the engagement and all of the, you know, the comments that you guys left over on that video. That's 
I wish that you guys would do that all the time because I love that. That's that's why I do this is because I, I want to see those comments. I want to see you guys in like gauging and talking to me. Um, but I'll talk more about that when I get to that next video. So I might do a declutter this week. I'm not sure. I got to figure out what else I want to do for Wednesday and Friday. But yeah, I'm going to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.